And we're back in Enshrouded, and last we left off, we completed our first main objective, and we found the sleeping survivor, the survivor, oh my word, uh, who we're going to then summon here. Uh, I did learn the, uh, real quick at the beginning here, that you can actually fast travel uh, to your homes. I was able to uh, quickly fast travel back here, and now we just need to, uh, I guess, commune with the flame. Uh, this survival will be a worthy addition to our cause. Place them into the world with a summoning staff, which you can craft from simple twigs. This is our flame where we can increase stuff, so we can um, upgrade it, incre uh, increasing its uh, range. Uh, strengthen it to gain some extra bonuses. And we can uh, reset skill points if we wanted to. A little re... Uh, Respects. So let's craft us a summoning staff. Good with simple. Oh, there it is. Craft. And then we need to make a this staff. Oh, I deleted the resin. I'm a dope. How do I get the resin again? Ugh. Oh, we'll find it. We'll figure it out. We'll summon him in here. You're gonna be my sleeping buddy. Um, summoning staff. Where are you? There you are. Tab. Oswald the blacksmith. Hey! Hey! hey. Really hey. Crafting first gear. Look, took you long enough to find me. Look at you, weak and puny, and they call you Flameborn. First thing you need is equipment. Lucky you woke me up first. Crafting a scrappy sword or a spike club or some armor will serve as well. Cleansing fire. Embervale can still be saved. Where there's ash, there's embers. Kid, the shroud suffocates the valley, so seek the elixir well with your new gear and raise the root of our misery. Ignite the depths and set the evil ablaze. Go on, I'm counting on your flameborn. Okay. Well rested. <laughs> Even with new gear, you shouldn't feel too safe out there. Rest up and eat well before you head out. A fire, a roof over your head, and some meat in your belly will prepare for, prepare for anything. We've learned that. What can we make with you? We have to make a forge. We're starting to get this stuff. Charcoal, I'm assuming, is just burning some wood logs. Yep, we make a charcoal kiln. We can make some nails. Lock picks, one-handed weapons. Dishes? Oh, man. Fur armor set. Oh, the friggin' string. We can make some gloves, though. Let's make the gloves. And then... Why... It's annoying that I have to go back to here to say, hey, make, I don't know, a couple of string. And then I have to go to blacksmith to then go, hey, for armor set, make me a helmet. Uh, make me this. And I can't make the pants because now I'm out manual crafting. Make a string. So to me, this is a little silly. They should have it all in one spot. It doesn't need to be in different tabs. What are we missing? Not available in the... Oh, no, my backpack's full. Equip. Equip. What was the other thing I made? I made... Oh, there they are. And now... Back to, back to the blacksmith. Where we need... The... Pants. And the boots. Okay. A glider. The flame doesn't give you wings, kid. Craft a glider at the workbench. It'll make you get around a little easier. Perfect for brave ones like you. Don't forget that using a glider drains stamina, but from what I've seen, you've got it in you. So yeah, that's a very uh, Breath of the Wild thing. Oh, God, I'm just trying to close you in there. Wow, we look kind of silly. <laughs> let's, uh, let's put those pants and those on. And I should make another chest. We dropped off a bunch of stuff. We look mighty silly. But we're making progress. So what is the... This is going to obviously want me to do something. What do you want me to do? You have awakened your kin. The flame is pleased. So you got more survivors slumbering in the springlands. Okay. We need a glider. He said, hey, maybe you should make a glider. We need a grappling hook too, which needs metal scraps. Oh, we have this though. We need a lot of... Sh String is a nightmare. I think we have the four scraps, though. We don't have any shroud wood. So we can make a grappling hook. 100%. We need four and ten. We needed seven string. There's no way we can make seven. 
No way. No. Literally one fiber short. That's... Oh, wait. Do we have one string in here, maybe? Yes, we do. Oh, no, 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 no. Just grab it. Let's get rid of it by mistake. Now. Grappling hook. Raft. We now have a grappling hook. Beautiful. Can we... This is all full up. This has some space. Let's dump some more things in here. I'm trying to keep my backpack kind of free. And then we can actually cook. This raw meat. And then we can go and test out this grappling hook. All right, we made it back. What can we do? I can't see diddly. Oh, E. Yes. Oh, geez, it got red quick. When the sun rises, it rises. Smash these up. Loot these little chests. That would help me get across. I don't know if I want to get across yet. I can peek over here if there's anything I can loot. Yep, see, there's a chest. I'll take the bandages. I don't care for the arrows. I'm trying for once to be conscientious about my inventory space. Not like other games. Or like our current playthrough of, of uh, Tribes of Midgard, where you can just load up on everything. Though I can say I do miss that, just being able to just pick up everything. That is, uh, I do enjoy that. Okay, so my little flame uh, ability there is... Oh, God! It's a bad guy. Looks like he's got a giant crossbow. Does he? Hello? Oh, he does! Oh, that hurt a lot, sir. Sir? Oh, yeah, get cheesed. Get cheesed on real hard. Oh, I'm not gonna cheese this... <laughs> Cheesed. <laughs> well, thank you. What did you have on you? Nothing great for me. He hurt, though. He hurt real bad. Did not like him. Oh, string. Yes. We're just smashing everything. This has now turned into a smash and grab game. Now, I don't think I want to smash these. If uh, video games have taught me anything. Red barrels? No good. What's this mantle do? Oh, I got old books. Can I dismantle these? Ooh. Now, let's test my theory. Will you explode? Whoa! Oh! Oh, it took out the supports. Oh, wow. Wow. You can. Whoa. I was not. OK, I wasn't ready for this kind of destruction. Um, Take care with this new shipment from the valley. The merchant said it's highly volatile. Apparently the explosive <laughs> explode if jostled or tossed around. Who would have known? Anyway, I paid a pretty penny. Do not mess around in here. I can't afford to fix another hole in the wall. Um, I want to, I'm going to blow up the other one. Um, I need to see what happens. All oh, those bees are going to be pissed. Oh, wait, is this Flint? Oh, <gasps> there was a magical chest. Uh, using a terraform tool explosives to forge a path through the rubble. Explosive balls can be... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know that. We got a magical hatchet. Awesome. And then this... Is flintstone? Right? Or just stone? That's like a material, though. Yeah, it is flintstone. Okay. Um, can I get rid of this hatchet, then? Now that we have a magical one, there's a little bit more damage. 
All right, I kind of need to be careful around this area. There are... I just fought another wolf, and it's, I guess, level three up. So we're currently in a s area that uh, the game is saying, hey, you should probably gear up a little bit better. Um, what do we have here? Scavenger camp with a mine shaft. So yeah, these guys are all three plus, which we can kind of deal with, but... Oh no, the wolves hurt. The wolf is the problem. Can I lock onto the wolf? Like the guys I don't worry about. They're, they're very, they're, the cold is effective against them and they're slow. The wolf though, he's a legit threat. Okay. And the wolf apparently was tethered. He decided to go back to his home. <gasps> All right, back at this wolf. Where'd you go? Where's that wolf? Hear him. Where'd you go? Hello? Where is he? Hello? Guess he's gone? Okay. Take. Getting close to another level soon. I don't know if dismantling this stuff is worth it or not, but... I'll take the books. I'm really <laughs> confused on where that wolf went. We can repair here. All right. Well, this seems clear. This looks like if I blow these up, I can get in there, right? Come on, hit it. Oh, boy. Yeah. Cool. So we've opened up this little mine shaft. What do we got here? Oh, they nigh blew me to smithereens, those scoundrels. Dieter, go witness. We discovered a chest in a new tunnel. I swear it. Nay, Dieter, tis no jest. Observe for yourself. My mouth is chalked with choked with dust. And my hands are numb from digging. My nails splinter. I am famished. Vicious curs. May the shroud take you all. Was it worth it? Oh yeah! Thank you for finding a wand for me. Crackling sounds like it's going to be um, lightning bit uh, based. Okay. Now let's check that out. Uh, fire proves to be. Oh, it's fire. Okay. Let's. Um, I like the. Oh, we're starting to get full up on stuff. What is this? A provisional scythe. Hmm. Weapon based? All right, let's... Oh, it's so bright. Fire! Oh, right-click shield. Oh! Oh, and it blew up that thing. I hear... Is he in there? Um, hey, hey, Wolfie. The fireball is so slow. I didn't know the wolf was back there the whole time. How was he doing over here? Crazy. Okay. Why do we want to do? Oh, so I can get a vantage point, I guess. Okay, that was cool. We now have a fire wand and a frost wand. The fireballs are cool, but they're so slow. Frost is a little bit nicer. We have a camp for the mine shaft. I guess we should... What's in here? Something that's level three? Rat, no! Fucking rats! Oh, just use the sword of the rats. Oh, the rats are the worst thing so far. Bloody rats. Oh, a shelter. A little level one shelter. How kind. You know what? We made a lot of progress. I think 
we'll stop here for now. We'll pick it up again next time. And uh, I think what we'll do is we'll just keep heading towards this way to our forge weapon or armory uh, mission area. And uh, yeah, I'll pick it up there. Thank you so much, folks, as always, for stopping by and checking out my videos. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you next time. Bye!